Can you give me that accent one more time? What are you gonna have for supper tonight, pasty or what? <laughs> <laughs> Ness, tell them the ski porn came with the house, didn't it? Yes, it did. And it's some of the best ski porn we've ever seen in our lives. It's definitely a good throwback nostalgia piece of ski. It's like born to ski, born in the east. It will take heroes born from ice. <laughs> <laughs> And ski porn with Canadians. <laughs> there are two sure bets when it comes to Canadians. They can rip and they know how to have a good time. It doesn't matter what sport it is. Canadians are, are the best in every sport. We've loved meeting <laughs> these guys. We hung out with them last night. Um, it was a good it was night. A riot. <laughs> it was rather uh, amusing. It ended with a, uh, I'm not going to say who the culprit was, but somebody ended up puking all over the front door and then it froze to the door this morning. Yeah. Navigating Mount Bohemia is like figuring out a giant maze. Half the fun of discovering a new run is the adventure of getting there. And one of the more elusive gems that everyone raved about was Uranus in the Outer Limits. Problem was, we kept getting lost trying to get to it. And of course, when the run's called Uranus, my maturity level came in about where you'd expect it. Now we're going to try to find the deepest powder dumps in Uranus that we can possibly find, right? Yeah. These beautiful ladies are taking us to Uranus. So do you guys want pictures of Uranus? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Isn't there a big giant sign to Uranus? <laughs> I try to fly your anus! <laughs> And I finally got there. Dreaming of that rainy summer day. Alright, we made it to the bottom of Uranus. <laughs> exactly right and uh, we found the most perfect safety spot there is 
first. Nice little view out there. Everybody's cozy in the snow. We got the little run that we just did. Monica's over there taking photos. <laughs> this place is great. I might live here. <laughs> Make it brighter, make it brighter for me When the sun comes shining on me I said, can you feel the sunshine? Make it brighter, make it brighter for me I was up before everyone. Mm. Mostly because I was really cold sleeping in the van. <laughs> I actually don't go to the other parking lot because I paid for VIP parking. And that's where the peasants park. It doesn't matter. We're faster when it comes. We're just faster. Yeah, that's what the ladies say too. You're better than the van like people. I'm not just trailer trash. I'm trailer trash. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, I saw this dude at the bar earlier. So Michigan's recreational, which means when in Rome. Tonight we might have to get ripper and drunk and just build a jump in the front yard. Some more shine. <laughs> See the cliff up there too. Yeah, up top. Yo, May and I are making man moves. Actually, May is making most of the man moves. But, we got it going. Hey, did I ever tell you about the time Hayes came over to my house and asked us to take a picture of him carrying firewood so he could send it to his woman to make her think that he does man shit? Sun is setting, Mayo's shaping it, then we're gonna go to dinner, meet up with a bunch of other friends, go to a bar and then come back here late night and rip it under the spotlight. Three, two, one, illuminate it! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, man? Not bad, huh? Fucking A. All right, send it. I'll be going out tonight, I don't care what I do I wake up in the morning and I'm beating black and blue I'ma feel tomorrow like a worn down pair of shoes Only point of this body here tonight is to be used Cause I'll, I wanna feel that blood rushing in my veins Ninja, how good of an idea is this? Fucking terrible <laughs> Don't worry, I've run waterfalls higher I'm gonna do all them things that I want to while that spirit's rushing now in my veins. Yes, tonight I'm gonna do all them things that I want to. We got look, man. We've got a professional setup. We got our terrain park supervisor down there. We've got our ski patroller Mayo hey. right here, ready to go. And these guys have thought this out. Uh, well, that's that's a stretch. <laughs> All right. Tell him, man, you're in charge. You're in charge. I'm not. I'm not in charge of shit. I'm just saying I'm a professional. I don't. If I don't, you hit that table, you're clearly offline. <laughs> that <laughs> so, table's gonna save yeah, your so life. Yeah. So ultimately, me. it's probably saving your life because if you a hit safety that safety measure. Yeah. I, in your way. He thinks the table is gonna hurt. Fairly sharp. Yeah. Made of casually firm metal. But it's. We've got two professionals and, here. Yeah, Pete, you're surrounded by professionals. Hey, you work at the tuning shop. <laughs> The send in zone is 36 He's, inches wide. It's trippy. The send in mm. area I'm just, I'm just is 36. Fuck your safety. We got helmets and a paramedic on our team.
All right, we all did decide this is exactly like summer camp. We're saying goodbye to all our friends for the week. We just said goodbye to our Canadian friends. We're all really sad. Look at them. Look at them. They're fucking just sad, especially Adam. <laughs> Take one last look around. They got another bluebird day here. About to hit the mountain. And we are about to hit 20 hours. 20 hours uh, home. Ninja is very excited about it. <laughs> I work at 7 in the morning. Tomorrow. You do? Oh, Me too. I'm sure that your mountain will be covered in powder. Oh, so much powder. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. That's classy right there. Classy mayo. Nice job. Oh, I grabbed my asshole. You sad to go home? Hell yeah, man. Missing it already. Haven't even made it out of the parking lot. Alright, we're gonna start heading home until next year. See you, Bohemia. Yeah. To get high, to do more than just get by I've come to test the timber of my heart Oh, I've come to test the timber of my heart Looking yeah. back one year later, I now see just how unique this trip really was. As we drove across the UP, none of us had any idea that the lifestyles we had always known were about to stop. And in two weeks, the world would be on lockdown. Although we had planned to return the following season, that trip never happened, and I am left to wonder, when will the Boho Boys make this journey together again? For now, though, we had sweet memories of an amazing week to accompany the long drive home. I'm sorry. And I've come to meet the sheriff and his posse To offer him the broad side of my jaw I've come here to get broke, then maybe bum a smoke We'll go drinking two towns over after all Well, we'll go drinking two towns over after all And I've come to meet the legendary takers I've only come to ask them for a lot Oh, they say I come with less Than I should rightfully possess I say the more I buy, the more I'm bought And the more I'm bought, the less I cost and This journey amongst the seven of us was thrown together in a matter of two weeks and all happened on a whim. But once it was over, we all realized that it was meant to go down exactly the way it did and the Boho Boys will always be connected by the adventure. I, for one, cannot think of a better group of humans to share in that adventure. I've come to get my fill, to ransack and spill. I've come to take the harvest for the seed. I've come to take the harvest for the seed. Lined up one sheet of the tree to the chest, and <laughs> only fell on my face once. Four days of shredding, epic. And I've come to know the manger that you sleep in I've come to be the stranger that you keep I've come from down the road And my footsteps never slowed Before we met I knew we'd meet Before we met I knew we'd meet And I've come here to ignore your cries and heartaches I've come to closely listen to you sing I've come here to insist that I uh, that's, why, that's why I brought my, my flannel and my finest fur hat. It's sack and spill. I've come to take the harvest for the seed. I've come to take the harvest for the seed. As for me, the dumpster fire road trip was not over yet. After a 20 hour drive and arriving back to Canaan Valley at sunrise, I dropped off the boys and stopped at home for two hours to have breakfast with the most important human of all, my wife and my cat. I absolutely love this human being and she is the most supportive person in the world and the fact that she has not killed me for doing this over the course of three weeks means more than anything. And I've come to know the manger that you sleep in 
I've come to be the stranger that you keep I've come from down the road And my footsteps never slowed Before we met I knew we'd meet Before we met I knew we'd meet And I've come here to ignore your cries and heartaches I've come to closely listen to you sing I've come here to insist that I leave here with a kiss I've come to say exactly what I mean And I mean so many things And you've come After breakfast and packing my bags, I headed three hours north to Pittsburgh Airport, enjoying winter along the way. I spent the remainder of the day navigating three airports and two flights for my third and final leg of the dumpster fire road trip and what would be the grandest adventure of all. Will you recognize my face when God's awful grace strips me of my jacket and my vest and reveals all the treasure in my chest? 